So here's the final art for my four Borderlands stickers. These characters have so much detail, these took way longer than I like thought they were going to. That's fine, they turned out cute. So the main reason why I don't sell these stickers in my online store is because I usually order them from sticker app and I have to order like a minimum of like 50 of each design. So I'm like, I'm not that confident that I could sell that many. Um, this one's a test sticker, but like, so I was like, all right, I have a silhouette machine. I'm going to try cutting them myself and selling them. But the problem was I never had a sticker paper that I liked. So I tried this one because I want to use vinyl because it's more sturdy, um, but it's really thin. Like it feels like a normal paper sticker. And then I tried this one and this one is really like thick, nice quality vinyl. And I actually really like this one. So this is the sticker paper I'm going to start using to cut and the only problem with it is that it kind of smells like you can smell the vinyl but I mean just don't sniff them also the problem with this particular sticker paper this vinyl um is that it's really thick which I like that about it but I have to cut it twice with my silhouette because this is what happened when I cut it once like I had to tear it it didn't cut it all the way through it cut through the sticker all the way but it didn't cut through the backing part all the way so I ended up just like tearing them off and I was like that's not good so I just made it where it cuts it twice and then it turns out fine the other benefit of like printing and cutting them myself is that I can just make like as many as I need like I don't have to have like huge on hands and then that way it could be like by buttons where I could make a ton of different characters for different things and I don't have to worry about characters being more popular than others. So one of my only other predicaments I have with these stickers is I'm not 100% sure how to like package them. I don't like just throwing stuff like in an envelope, especially when people buy like the whole set. So I might get like little backing cards made so they look like cute little sticker packs. Which I'll probably do that later today once I package all my orders for my online store. So now that I have finally found a sticker paper that I like, for my stickers um, and I'm going to start cutting and printing my own stickers for my online store. Um, like starting last month I was mailing out um, my freebie sticker to patrons, my $10 patrons. Um, so starting this month in September any stickers that I make during that month I will also send to those patrons. It's not just the freebie sticker like these two. So like for the September rewards they're going to get the freebie sticker for September which is the Steven Universe one and then they're gonna get all, one of each of these as well and if I make any other stickers before the end the month ends so thanks again to my $10 patrons so I'm trying to decide on packaging for like when people buy a bunch of stickers and I want them to be protected um, so this is like my button packs it's like there's so much empty space up here so I'm like oh I need something smaller so then I tried like my ship sets and I actually have a bunch of these bags that are like three and a quarter by three and a quarter inches that I originally ordered for my washi tape, but then my washi tape that I got was actually packaged already, so I didn't need to put them in anything. So I have a bunch of these that I haven't used. So these are slightly too tall, but I cut it down and I'm thinking this is a better size to put like the stickers in. Like if someone orders the whole set, I can just put them in here and mail them off like this so they're protected because they have this backing card and yeah I mean obviously I would de actually design a back for it but I'll probably get like default ones like this so they're not like specific maybe maybe I'll get some specific ones we'll see today is September 20th and a few days ago I ordered new backing cards for button sets um, 
I made this design specifically for like She-Ra and Steven Universe. Um, so when people order buttons from those, then I'll put them on this little backing card if they order more than like three or four. People order like the whole set pretty consistently, so I've been using my normal default ones, like generic backings, but I was like, I should make one that's cute for those specifically. I also ordered little backings for like stickers, <laughs> people order stickers, so like this is the whole set of my Borderlands stickers, and I got these little orange, this is like a mock-up, <laughs> but I got four different colors, just to put like whatever looks nicest depending on what stickers people buy because I want to order I want to make a lot more stickers from my online store so right now I got blue gray pink and yellow and speaking of stickers I started redrawing my overwatch Halloween charms because the charms themselves the art was drawn at like one and a half inches and the stickers are around two to two and a half inches so the art wasn't big enough, so I'm re I'm just tracing them and redrawing the three that I already have. And then I'm thinking about doing some Dead by Daylight stickers for Halloween, because I love Dead by Daylight, even though I've never, I don't think I've ever talked about it. It's September 21st, and I've finished my redrawing of my Overwatch Halloween. Well, they're originally charms, now they're going to be stickers. Now I'm going to cut them out and see how they look. So the stickers all seem to cut okay and they turned out pretty cute, nice size, but I have a problem with the Mercy one, like I rounded all the edges and stuff, like the cut lines, but for some reason it still has like problems cutting around just this one, like around the wings and stuff, it doesn't cut all the way through the backing paper, I mean like I could easily cut that off but it's kind of inconvenient, so I'm going to try using a deeper blade setting and see if it cuts it better. I don't want to use like too deep of a blade setting though because it stretches the vinyl, kind of messes it up if I do too strong of a setting. So I tried the deeper blade settings and it did not work very well. It did what I thought it was going to do and it just like pulled on the vinyl so now it's got this like weird texture around the sides. Also, like, using that setting, the further went down, like, the worse alignment it got. Like, it really messed up this one. And then I, when I saw this, I stopped it, and I redid it with the other blade settings, and that worked better, I guess. I did look on their website, and there is a deep, like, cut blade that I can get, but I don't know if it's usable with my model of cutting machine. I have the Silhouette Portrait. I don't know which version I have because it says it only works with some of them, but maybe I'll try it and see if it cuts this vinyl better. So I was looking at the Silhouette website and I have the Silhouette Portrait 1 because mine does not have this Bluetooth button on it. So I can't use the deep cut blade, which sucks. But I was looking at other stuff on their website and they have like this stamp maker thing. And then I watched some videos on it and it seems pretty cool. You can make your own custom stamps. And I was like, dang, it's like $130 though. But on Amazon, I saw that you could get get it with all this stuff for like 40 bucks. And then there's even one for like 34 And I was like, that doesn't sound right. Like, it's probably the stuff without the actual cutter thing. Or whatever this is. This thing that makes the stamps. But when I look at the reviews, like people said they actually got, like, the thing and I'm like what this thing's supposed to be like $120 why is it like 40 bucks on Amazon but I might get it because this seems kind of cool it's September 26th and I got all my stuff from cat print today I got my new button backings which is like amazing timing because I literally just ran out of these today packing orders but now I got these like cool ones with little stars on it for like Steven Universe and she read orders or anything that matches it and then I got these little backings for sticker packs or just like you know whatever matches it they're not like specific to anything they're so cute so someone ordered a full set of Steven Universe buttons and this is how they look like the new backings so originally I was just using like these plain white ones 
It looks so much better! Also, over here, I'm just getting my Patreon pledge rewards together. So, the $10 tier gets like a set of stickers that I made this month. So, the freebie sticker from my online store, uh, my Borderlands 3, and then these like Halloween uh, Overwatch ones. I'm still working on the Dead by Daily ones, but I probably won't finish by the end of the month. Thank you so much for watching the September vlog, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I just want to give a big shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. These vlogs are a reward for their support, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it.